great room to just relax, read the paper, mm -hmm. listen to some music, have some wine, got a bar over there. And I love my kitchen. I love looking outside to the beautiful greenery and the flowers when I'm cooking. I think the Real Housewives of Orange County is a look and an attitude. I believe that the women here are very beautiful. They're, um, they're confident. And I, I think it's the way that we dress. We don't dress in formal dresses, maybe in Beverly Hills or Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Orange County is definitely more jeans and cute tops and I'm in my work mode mm -hmm. today so I don't have that going on. But you know, I think that we're confident in just um, our body image and we, we're okay bearing some shoulders and cleavage mm -hmm. and we feel sexy. Cute. 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 Well, I believe a lot of women desire or want to be like myself or other women in California because we do have 300 days a year that are beautiful sunny. So not only do we live in a beautiful place, we have the best plastic surgeons, we have the best gyms, we have the best, I believe, style out here. Mm -hmm. When I go back to Chicago where I'm from and, and wear something, all my girlfriends like, oh my gosh, you have to buy me that. That's yeah. so cute. Or, so we really do have a fun sense of style. We're confident. Um, and I think that women want to be like us. Okay, lit. That we oh, it's raining. Okay. Oh! I've never been to Israel, but my girlfriend lived there for about 20 years, so mm. I always had hoped to be there, but she told me that, you know, um, there's tends to be a lot of fear among Americans living there. She mm. actually married an Israeli, and they had four children. Um, you know, the women wear their, I don't know what the right verbiage is, their scarves, and mm. they're just yeah. very conservative, and here in America, we don't, so mm. I know that that was a big uh, discussion. She lived in her. Jerusalem, right? Yeah, she did. So. Okay. It was uh, East Jerusalem, mm -hmm. so I know that that was something that she really had to adapt to, but she, she did. I've been an insurance agent for 17 years. My insurance business is really growing. I'm staying focused on the insurance and not letting a lot of distractions come in, and because of that, it's going to reap the rewards. It's definitely hard and still is a struggle between struggling a career, my marriage, and also filming a TV show. Something has to give, and you tend to want to believe it will be the TV show or my career, but unfortunately there's many times where my husband's the last one that gets attention from me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm learning as I go along. I'm not perfect. I try to do better every day, but it just, it, there's not enough hours in the day to do, get everything done, and that's my challenge. I'm going to Mexico. I don't know why women in Hollywood don't want to admit that they've had plastic surgery. I have no problem admitting I've had breast implants. Um, maybe they're vain and they just think that they were born naturally beautiful, beautiful breasts, but you know, the reality is you can pretty much tell if somebody's had implants or not. Maybe their nose wasn't perfect and they feel that they didn't want to disclose it. To me, it is what it is. If you've had some surgery, admit it and go on. Say, I tried to improve myself. I got to believe that breast implants are the most popular surgeries here, especially in California, because we are re wearing revealing clothes and you know, we're in bathing suits a lot and we're in low cut shirts and so I believe that um, it's our body image. I didn't do it for anybody else but myself. I love, I love my boobs. <laughs>